the Curiosity rover is looking for uh, evidence of life in, in other organic molecules, which of course is really important. And we hope that, uh, well, we, we hope that we'll be able to say one way or the other fairly soon whether or not there has been any life in Mars's past. What they have measured is the composition of Mars's atmosphere uh, much more accurately than we knew it before. Uh, and the, we did have data from the 70s, from the Viking mission, uh, which measured the, the Martian atmosphere composition, which has been very important because uh, it's enabled us to identify certain meteorites from Mars. Uh, these meteorites contain trapped Martian atmosphere. Now, what the, um, uh, the rover has measured is the actual atmospheric composition and its isotopic composition. And what it's found is that the, as we knew, that the atmosphere is, is carbon dioxide rich, but also that the atmosphere is enriched in the heavy isotopes of oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. Now, uh, this is uh, not a surprise, but it means that the Martian atmosphere has certainly been lost, or most of Mars's atmosphere has been lost uh, at some time in the past. Uh, the, it's obvious that early in its history, or it's obvious, it seems likely that early in its history, Mars had a relatively thick atmosphere, uh, and that it had water in that atmosphere and uh, carbon dioxide and oxygen. Uh, and these new data indicate that that atmosphere was, was lost very early in its history. And the idea of this being a catastrophic, a sudden event, and the catastrophic events that we know were taking place very early in the history of the solar system were impacts. So we, uh, we, we are almost certain that the moon, the Earth's moon, formed after a giant impact on the Earth at about four and a half billion years ago. And the suggestion from the, and at the same time, the Earth probably lost a lot of its primitive atmosphere. Uh, so we we uh, think that Mars also lost its primitive atmosphere very early on, but that this uh, potentially was caused by the same kind of giant impact. In a giant impact, the atmosphere gets really hot, and the hotter it is, the easier it is for things to escape, like boiling off. As you know, if you boil a kettle of water, you'll start losing some of it uh, through steam. It's exactly analogous.